Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk NBA basketball. Let's talk about where we are. Let's talk about some betting options. Today is May the 16th, 2024. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's mention a few things here. First, the Eastern Conference. Boston has everything eating out of their hand. Right? They already have made the Eastern Conference Finals. They're the Goliath in the room. But you and I know it's a personality thing. This team is not the kind of team that can stomp you out. You and I know, even though they have home court, they're going to lose a game. It could even be at home in the Boston Garden, right? They're going to lose a game, whether they're facing a good team or a mediocre team. Whether they have the roster advantage or not, right? It's already happened twice this playoff season. Right? They lost the game to Miami. It was a head-scratcher. They lost the game to Cleveland. It was a head-scratcher. Right? Cleveland didn't even have Jared Allen. So Boston is one of these teams that's a bit unreliable when you give them the wheel. Now, let me just say this. I was shocked. I was bonafidely shocked by Game 5 of that Indy Knicks series, right? Just understand, I feel the Knicks are too injured. I have no idea how a team could have Miles Turner. And then, of course, the other team has Josh Hart, a 6'4 guy. And the 6'4 guy is the dominant rebounder on the court. What's Indy doing? Indy has too much volatility. But... I'm expecting Indy to win game six, right? Jalen Brunson can only do so much. I'm expecting Indy to win game six. I still think Indy has a chance in the series because Indy, as unreliable as they are, as defensively challenged as they are, they just have more bodies and better offense than the New York Knicks. So make no mistake, the Knicks are up three games to two. I understand the Knicks are the likely winner, but if you're a speculator, if you're willing to take chances, if you see an opportunity, hell, if you just want to hedge in game seven, look at the odds right now for the Eastern Conference and just understand that Indy, the only team, in my opinion, that has a chance to beat Boston in the East. I'm not saying they do, but they have a chance. Indy right now is going off at higher than 18 to 1. You heard right, 18 to 1 to win the Eastern Conference. I believe that's a play worth taking, especially since Game 6, of course, is in Indy. Right? You grab the 18 to 1, they win Game 6. What's game seven going to be on them to just, you know, them against the Knicks? Who's going to win that series? I'm guessing the line's going to drop dramatically. I'm guessing you can find a way to get back the money you bet at 18 to 1 on Indy. Right? And just understand, if Indy were to win game seven, then you're in the conference finals against an unreliable Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown team, right? A team that was up 2-1, playing game four at home against the Golden State Warriors and somehow allowed Steph Curry to score more than 40 points, right? So if you're a speculator, the play I like in the Eastern Conference right now, we're just opportunists, right? I'm grabbing this bet so I can try to hedge later. 
I'm grabbing this bet. So if lightning strikes and I get lucky, I'm looking at huge profits. The bet I'm grabbing is Indy at 18 to 1 to come out of the Eastern Conference. I do believe Boston ultimately beats Indy and represents the Eastern Conference. But let's be clear here. Porzingis hasn't been playing. We don't quite know how good or how bad his calf is. Right shortly after the injury, he was on the sidelines and he looked like he was laughing. You wondered, is this a serious injury? But yet, keep in mind, even when they lost the game to Cleveland, he did not appear. Right? If he appears for a series against Indiana, Indy is going to force him to run up and down the court. Right? If you're coming back from a calf injury, that's not the best idea there's a possibility he can be on a minutes restriction. Let me point out too, Jason Tatum is a guy who inexplicably has off nights, right? His offense will fall off the table. It happened in the Cleveland series, right? There were days where he just couldn't hit threes, right? Boston isn't a Golden State Warrior team where you can, you know, roll Steph Curry out of bed, roll Klay Thompson out of bed, and these guys are above average shooters on a typical night. No, Boston's a team with peaks and valleys, right? The odds on Boston right now have drained all the profits away from picking Boston. Boston's a minus 700 to win the Eastern Conference, right? My point to you here is you have an indie team that's mispriced as an 18-1 to underdog, I know they look bad in Game 5. I'm not here to say anything else. But Game 6 is in Indy. They win that. That Knicks series suddenly becomes extremely iffy. Right? Let me point out, too, that if Indy wins Game 6, you can hedge against your own 18-1 to bet. To get back your initial investment in Game 7 were the Knicks to win Game 7, right? You could take the Knicks in Game 7, hoping that if, in fact, Indy wins, you still have a sizable portion of your 18-1 to endowment. Let's talk about the Western Conference right now, right? After two games, my goodness, there were two games in Denver. You thought the Timberwolves were going to just sleepwalk through the rest of that series, Right? A-Rod, according to reports, showed up for Game 3 wearing a white suit. You could imagine T-Wolves fans thought that this was their moment. Right? Rudy Gobert had missed Game 2. He had just had a child. You thought Game 3, Game 4 in Minnesota, what could possibly go wrong? And then, of course, Joker. A guy who, for some reason, former NBA players love to hate, right? What's Shaq doing talking about Joker not filling up a stat sheet? Has Shaq looked at Joker's assist numbers? Has Shaq looked at Joker's rebounding numbers? Folks, Joker is one of the premier triple-double threats in the league. Well, here's what I want you to think about. Close your eyes for a moment and just think about this. If you had to name an MVP for the playoffs, for the Denver Nuggets, who would it be? We can open our eyes. We know the answer to this. It's Joker, isn't it? You have value here. Denver's up three games to two over Minnesota. Just understand, Minnesota's hallmark was defense. Denver did not break 100 points the first two playoff games against Minnesota. Something happened. Game three comes. Denver 117 points. Game four comes. Denver 115 points. Game five comes. Denver 112 points. Folks, they've cracked the code. I don't know how else to put it. They've cracked the code. I think Denver wins this series 
Denver is going off at a minus 141. If you want Denver, why would I take the minus 141 when the MVP of the Western Conference prop for Joker, the likely winner, is a minus 105? Folks, he's the man in Denver. He's putting up numbers again in the playoffs. If Denver comes out of the West, he's the MVP of the Western Conference playoffs. Right? Give yourself substantially better odds than the minus 141 on Denver to come out of the West. Give yourself the minus 105 by taking Joker to be the MVP of the Western Conference playoffs. Now let's talk about another series, and this series is an eye-opener for me. Right, One of the reasons I'm here online is to get different points of view. And I was struck by how I wrote off the Dallas Mavericks, and several of you then said, hey, Dwyer, they picked up some guys. Their defense has vastly improved. Right, So now I'm watching this OKC series, and it's stunning, folks. The lane is closed. Right? Dallas has it set up where OKC's guys who are young, who are fast, are afraid to come down the lane. Right? Now we're noticing, too, that OKC has a lot of three-point shooters, but only one mid-range guy. And that's Shea Gilius Alexander, SGA. Right? SGA is doing his damnedest, to quote Harry S. Truman. Right? He's doing his damnedest. It's not enough. I think Dallas beats OKC. Uh, OKC won game four in Dallas. It was a major moment. You thought, wow, are they going to go back home now and show us that they've made it to the top of the hill, gotten through the adversity, and now can land a plane? And the answer was no. Instead, we saw Luca show you why, forget the triple-double threats, why he was, why he is one of the best passers in the entire league. Right? There's an art form to throwing alley oops. There were times in that game, apart from, you know, Luca palming the basketball like magic, there were Parts of that game where Luca looked like magic with the ridiculous alley oops he was throwing. Also, the guys catching the alley oops, this is a different Dallas team. Now, I think Dallas beats OKC, right? If you have futures on OKC, you better hedge him here, right? Let me just say this, though the Western Conference. The Western Conference Finals, if I'm right and if it's Dallas against Denver, right? What I want people to do is to look right now at the MVP odds. You're getting Luka at a plus 331, but you have an outlier play here that has to be part of any betting portfolio, right? It's an absolute killer in the playoffs. Kyrie Irving, right? I'm not saying Kyrie deserves the MVP right now, but you would have a series against the defending champs. And if Kyrie shows up in that series, right now, believe it or not, the casinos are giving you Kyrie Irving to be MVP of the Western Conference at 25 to 1. Right? What's the harm in throwing a couple dollars on Kyrie at 25 to 1? If it hits, you're up at 50 to 1. If it looks like it's going to hit, then at that point you can say, hell, you know, if Dallas really has a chance to beat the defending champion Denver Nuggets, why don't I throw some money on Luka? Since I'm looking at 25 to 1 on Kyrie and it looks like Dallas is going to win this. Right? So... In the East, Indy, to win the Eastern Conference, again, I don't think they do. I think Boston does. But I do feel, even now, 
that they've, you know, given back home court, well, that they haven't gotten home court, I should say, I think Indy still has a chance to beat the Knicks, who are very injured. Game six is in Indy. Indy at 18-1 to one to win the conference. I want a piece of the action. I'll hedge that later. Right? If they win game six, I'll be in a position to hedge. Right? In the Western Conference, Joker, to win Western Conference MVP at a minus 105, that's a no-brainer. If I want to experiment and get longer odds, I have Luka going off at better than 3-1, to one, and I have Kyrie going off at 25-1. to one. Right? Those are the intriguing high-risk but high-leverage bets that I like right now. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.